whatever impression that I leave, I just hope that it's that there are people that will always be there um, to help the poor or to help the people that need that need the assistance the most. I'm just typical North Sider, born and raised on the north side of Youngstown. Came on down to the DMV, uh, the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia area, where I studied law at the American University and graduated in 2016. After graduating, I came back to Youngstown um, and worked at Community Legal Aid, first as a volunteer, and then was hired as a law clerk. In 2019, I returned to the DMV area where I've been working at Maryland Legal Aid ever since. I mean, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a black man, so every day is Black History Day or every month is Black History Month for me. Being a black attorney, there's just a lot of history that comes with that. I mean, there, there were so many barriers um, to black people who were legal, subject to so many laws from slavery to segregation, to post-segregation, to now this new wave of the of civil rights movements in terms of access to housing and um, police brutality. You know, at the center of it, the center of our entire um, legal world um, in America is the status of African Americans and other minorities. And so going into Black History Month, um, I think about that in my work. I think about what, what am I doing as an attorney, particularly during Black History Month, that is sort of honoring the legacy of people who have come before me in the courts, as well as making sure that I'm doing my part to slowly move other people's rights forward. I guess for me, justice is, it's not just about making sure everyone gets heard or you go through the process, you know, I mean, people, people know what it's like to go in front of a judge and have the judge do something to you that you might feel is wrong. I mean, I think justice means really a moral and equitable outcome to, to a dispute. What what about their, that decision kind of upholds the dignity of the person that is subject to it? I think that, that to me is the idea of justice. Yeah, it's been challenging at times. Um, it can be very daunting taking on the, the stresses and the fears and the fatigues of the clients. Um, so challenging, but rewarding. Just the, the idea that people feel vindicated when they think that they didn't have any other options. And that has been a positive experience for me to see that relief. Um, but there's also still the challenges. And sometimes it does feel like it's an uphill battle. Um, sometimes as a black person, when I see what the client population continuously look, looks like. It can be discouraging because um, I feel like even though we have made progress in this country, it's still the people who have always been the victims of oppression, the victims of inequality, the victims of inequity. They're, they're still the victims there. You know, you're not, you still see the same group of people in and out of the courts kind of getting cycling, cycled through the system. And so that can be frustrating. Um, so. Overall, the experience has been, I guess, as varied as life itself, challenging at times, rewarding at times, hopeful at times, dispiriting at times. Um, but, you know, it's it's something that, you know, I just face every day.